All right, welcome to another episode. In this one, we're going to see the four-piece bass. That's right, we're going to make a good bass for four pieces, and it's going to be useful for going from one galaxy to another. In order to um, go to anywhere in a galaxy, you need to be in that galaxy. So like right now we're in 10, galaxy number 10, Eisentant. And in this one, about two thirds of the way through, you'll see the actual bays. And we will go from Eisentom number 10 to galaxy number 11. I just landed in Eisentom, so my ship is broken. It will be quickly repaired. I already have the plate and the hermetic seal to do it and the dihydrogen jelly and the pure ferrite. So it takes me no time at all. I'm not gonna fix the hyperdrive yet. I now do that later on. And then I'm gonna summon my regular ship, the one that, my working ship, the one that I'm using. You'll see what that four-piece base is used for and how it's done a little bit. Okay, next I'll head to the space station. Okay, I look at my alien maps. I like to keep, keep at least 10 of them. So I will buy four more to keep myself up at 10. Alien cartographic data. Four will get me up to 10 of them. I'll check to see if there's anything I want to buy here. I usually use this to maintain my supplies. So if I need anything metal plates, pyrite, phosphorus. I just look to see if there's anything I think I need. I'm actually gonna take uh, some nanotubes so I don't have to use carbon to make them. Also, I don't have all my um, Exosuit upgrades. So I'll continue to add some of those. On the Explorer, the damage is 33 core. But on, uh, and on even this, the damage is like 64. But if you look, I have a 289 core damage. So basically, if it's not at least 100 core in each item, it's just not good enough. This fighter with a 66 core damage is way too low. In my opinion. And that's the problem with haulers, their damage is too low. Okay, now let's, um, okay, now let's pop one of those maps. I have 10 of them. We did that intentionally. E to plot that, okay. So we'll have to go to the ancient ruin. Okay, there's no steps going up to that.
I personally just grab the language from these, just to save time. And I'll get some standing from them. If I can get to those, I'll get a little bit more language. So I'll pick up from the knowledge stones as well. Now pop another map. the alien cartographic data. Eventually with the alien map, You should get a monolith, but you'll have to keep on trying. And I would, I just grab the language at the things that are not the monolith, and I use the knowledge stones to get the languages. It's about the quickest way to gain the vocabulary while you're doing this. Now, the Viking are warriors. So generally, you have to respect their warriors. So there's a hunt here. Warriors are charging. I think it's more aggressive to grab the weapon. And the Viking are aggressive. Since the Viking are aggressive, I chose something aggressive. Now, this could be a broken multi tool for you if you wanted. Uh, I'm not going to take that. I need to find a quad servo. Okay, now I have a Viking dagger, so I'll be able to locate a portal. You'll have to reload your save if you answer wrong until you make this happy, and then it'll give you the option. Notice I'm just ignoring the message because our goal is to get close to the center. And if there's stuff here, I grab it. It's about the most time efficient way to get, get things. Condensed carbon, sodium, Rusted metal can give you ferrite. And you get other stuff. Okay, so you're going to have to have carbon, sodium, dihydrogen, and copper to charge this. I activate the portal. And all you need is the first glyph. That'll get you within 5,000 light years of the center. Go through the portal. Okay, now you're 
within, you see all the communication things, you know you're near the center. There are probably a lot of bases in here. Okay, now look. We're in eyes and time, and we're at 5,747 light years. We're heading towards the core. So what I'm going to do is my next stop is I'm going to go as far as I can towards the core to a system with a black hole. So 1,600 is pretty, 1,600 light years. We'll, and uh, we'll put me at about 4,000 away from the center. When I go through the black hole, I will end up even closer to the center. Also, going through the black hole saves me the uh, warp fuel. Okay, if you want to do something, go ahead and do it. Notice we are 4,120 light years away. Now go through the black hole. That should put you almost at the center. Okay, now look at the galaxy map. 35, 3600 light years from the center. Going through a black hole puts you closer. Now head from there to the core. See, only 600 light years away. That should be where I need to go from to get to the center of the galaxy. Now, as long as you're hyperdrive. Now, that base says last stop. We're probably in the right place. But to verify you're in the right place, go back into the map and see if you could use it. You know, I use my left mouse. Oh. See, we weren't at the, the launching place, it looks like. All right, let's try again. Let's try the map again and see if we're near the, the core. You see, it says I have no fuel, but that's, it's really, I'm just not full, 100%. All right, so we're at the right place now. I do recommend testing it before going. Okay, in this system, in this system, It looks like there's no space station. Okay, so let's go find a, a base to land at. I actually ended up in a star system with no trading posts. This requires trading posts to work right. So if you go X and search, Locate trade post. OK, 
Okay, here is my four-piece base that I was going to show you. It's simple. You put down your base computer. I usually choose a color that matches where I'm at. Now, I'm actually in 11 El Cupolos. So I'll rename this 11 El Cupolos. Let's put two solar panels down. battery uh, so actually yeah, I'm not counting the base as the base computer is a piece okay this is storing I'd stop storing so I'm gonna actually have to do a, a five piece base The biofuel will run for when it's dark. Okay. We got a biofuel reactor for when it's dark two solar panels that will be good enough during the day. When this runs out, with the battery in those two, this should run at least most of the time. So that's five pieces, six if you want to count the base computer. You've got, I don't know, about seven landing pads, a galactic trade terminal, and you're in shelter and all of that for about five pieces in the base. And what you can use this for is a stopover in Galaxy 11. You can find a portal and go anywhere in Galaxy 11. And because this is close to the center, you can go from here to Galaxy 12 if you want. I'll show you. So let me see if I have the space station in this. Since my drive is not full, I won't be able to go through the center, but I'll just show you. Okay, and it says hyperdrive has no fuel because it's not a hundred percent. I grab things that I need from the people at the ships and the stores. I swap my multi-tool to a broken one. I put the stuff in my exosuit technology down.
you can now swap the starship at the uh, under switch dock ship and I'll summon my center ship that's the one I used to go through the center notice my hard drive needs three microprocessors I can go to one of the pilots or the store and buy the microprocessors and whatever else I want. So I need three of those. I like to have plenty of chromatic metal. Now with the microprocessors I bought, and I, you saw I bought some chromatic metal, I think. Now we have to make sure the hyperdrive's at 100%. Notice I need chromatic metal and condensed carbon to make the antimatter. Okay, now with that at 100%, I left click on the mouse pointing towards the center. I need a cadmium drive. Okay, for the cadmium drive, I just need the chromatic metal and wiring loom to fix it. Okay, now I have a cadmium drive. Aptar Cabra. So that's 12 after Kaba. Okay, so the purpose of the bases is to give you a foothold in the um, in the the galaxy. Okay, and uh, I just rinse and repeat. It doesn't take that long. And I use the minimum number of base components to have a decent base. Mostly at the trading post. They give me shelter. They give me a store. They give me landing pads. I put a teleporter in there. And then from there, you could launch into anywhere in that given galaxy. So, in fact, why don't we go look up and see um, what the maximum number of base components is and the maximum number of bases are. And we can figure out using... Four so according to the wiki, the No Man's Sky fandom wiki, each save has a limit of 402 bases. 
there's a limit of 16,000 objects per save and 3,000 per base. So if you only have four or five um, per base, then you can at least save your limit for a couple of big bases. And uh, let's see, 400 bases at five components each, or six, is 2,400. That's well under the 16,000 base objects per save. There are 256 unique galaxies, of which you can get to 255 of them. So you would need 255 bases with about five components each, 255 bases, let's say six components, is 1,530. So you could have a base in a given save in each galaxy using my system, plus have enough room to have a couple of large bases. So that's the, that's the idea. Have a base in each galaxy so you can um, access each of them and have enough components left to build a couple of bases with several thousand components in them in one save. Thank you for watching.